<laughs> you've been in the same. All right, but that's that's disgusting because you've been in the same place. Can we not discuss it? We don't have to discuss it, but I think it's just kind of funny. Oh wow! Look at that. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, thank you. Oh, what is that? Thank you. This is the best thing here at Saddle Ramps, the pea soup. It's the best. I don't yes. think it's the best thing they have. Oh, I'm so you jealous. know what? I think so. This is the best soup ever. Now yeah. I understand why Brandon comes here for the soup all the time. Carla, these are my friends Rob, and this is Todd. Hi. Hi, guys. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Hey, yeah, I think she was flirting with you. Go for it, man, because girls who work for tips never flirt with a guy on purpose. But right, before I, I forget, are you guys going to wrap this up for uh, Cameron, man? Cameron will lick the grease off the bottom of the planet. Cameron got me into MySpace. Hey, Cameron! Is it a good idea to pimp my blog? No, it's stupid. What if I just tried whoring it out for a while? But I still don't understand. How did you end up dating three women? All right, you know how you, like, uh, you haven't dated anyone for a while, and then you kind of, you know, you meet someone, and you get that stench off of you, and then you can move on from there. It's like once you get a girlfriend, that's when women hit on you. Exactly. As soon as you're dating one, then all of them come around. It's like you put out a pheromone. So I was going to meet Monique, and she's uh, in charge of this magazine, right? And I've always wanted to work for her. So I was going there to meet her for a project, a personal project, right? So I go there, and she tells me what she wants me to do. I want you to photograph my vagina. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 what? What? For her own personal use. Like she's, she, yeah, oh, she's like she's scrapbooking and she needs a shot of that? Basically, yeah. She wants, she knows she wants to have kids someday, so she wants to take a picture of it before it gets ruined by children coming out of her That's birth canal. awesome. Can we see it? Yeah. No, you can't. See yeah. It. Do you have a wallet no. size? A wallet size? No, I'm a professional. This was a professional job. Can you move to the right a little? Perfect. Well, why would I care about that? Well, that's what I'm New York. Um, I'm you. Could you put your leg down a little bit? You're making a weird shadow. That's the beauty of it, you know. Because a photographer will do anything to get a shot. This okay. is what I do. Professionally, was she shaved? Mm. You're an idiot. Listen, I bring her back the proofs. I take, you know, I do the, I do the job, and I'm bringing over the proofs to her place, and some things happen. Mm. We have a glass of wine before I know what we're making out. What? Just easy a little bit, easy up. No, it's... Uh, Is there a fire somewhere? No, somewhere? it's just, you can only dry hump so much before it starts to hurt. I mean, this is denim. Oh, so I was really getting to know her because we weren't having the sex. So I'm giving her a massage and something comes over me. She squirted on you? No. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I mean, you're talking about this woman with a fantastic Something vagina. I mean, she's got this Picasso-esque vagina that's got to be captured for all the... Okay. I love you. What? Wait, wait, no, no. You told her you loved her because you wanted to have sex. Oh. <sighs> Is the dog in me here the whole time? Oh, he loves it. Don't worry about it. What? I'm well aware that if I break this girl's heart, this could ruin me. Point is, I told this girl I loved her, and I really mean it. All right, so then the night gets a little weirder, right? So I'm done with Monique, and I go over to the bar to have a quick drink. And this girl came up to me, and she was a prostitute. She propositioned me. Nice. Her. You haven't heard this? No. Yeah, she's no. not really a prostitute. She's a cop. And so, you no, know, I was being nice and charming, and so she gives me her number. She's super cool, too. Like, she's one of the guys. Like, she but could she's be... an undercover prostitute out picking up guys. But she doesn't guy. have sex she's with them. She's not an undercover prostitute. She's not a cover cop. Yeah, and she doesn't, it's not like she, she doesn't bust them by like, you're in me, you're busted. Come on. Yeah, there it there is. We go. Nicely done, my friend. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Drink to that. So the other night when we're going at it, we're drunk. I mean, real drunk. And I'm taking off her clothes, she's taking off my clothes. And we go to the ground, and what's the worst thing that can slip out when you're drunk? Oh, oh God, I love you. I love you too. Brandon, why would you tell her? <laughs> the next day when I woke up and rolled over, I looked at her, and I realized I, I actually meant it. Now you love two women? You, it's, not, it's not bad enough that you, you guys say I love you to one? You think I'm not well aware of how stupid this is? Do you realize she's a cop? She could make my life a living hell. Not only could she beat the crap out of me, she hangs out with all these other cowboy detectives, and they could all Dude, beat the crap out of me. Or worse, put a boot on my car or something like that's that. That's the least of your problems. <laughs> <laughs> the night didn't exactly end right there. Driving home, right? I got the two numbers in my pocket and I'm feeling pretty good, right? So I see this gorgeous girl on the side of the road and her car is broken down. Frankie. Frankie. So I pull over there to help her. I pull out my AAA card. I give her, give the call, put my coat around her. 
She slipped me her number. Is that Diggle? Nah, I'm alright. This is the girl, she hosts, uh, what's the name of that show? Missile Blast? Some computer thing, you yeah, know yeah, it. Yeah, Missile Blast. Wait, you're dating the chick from Missile Blast? Yeah, yeah. the host. You've seen it, right? The chick that does the news about the internet? Yeah. She's, That's one of your girlfriends? This girl is great. She's sweet, she's sensitive, she's everything. She's like, she brings hot. out the best of me, and she's very hot. She's super hot, and the sex is like, oh my god. My problem with her is, she's a little manic depressive. Like, more than a regular girl? But I'm hanging out with her one night, and out of nowhere, she tells me to get out. Like, she just snaps like that, like, boom. Brandon, you need to leave. What'd you say? Just get out. All right, why? Get out! Jesus, all right. That's a sign. Save yourself. Just get. Blessing in disguise. You got two other girlfriends. And about four or five weeks later, I get a call from about 11 at night, right? Booty call. No, no, no. Total booty call. No, I wish it was a booty call. She was crying. Click. So I'll be there in a little bit. Just calm down. All right. All right, no, I'll be there. And I'm worried that she might hurt herself. Like, really? She might hurt herself? So I drive over there and I walk in. Frankie? Frankie? So I walk to her bedroom, and there she is on her bed, bawling her eyes out, right? So I walk over to her, I get on my knees, and I give her a hug. And I bring her in close, and I tell her everything's going to be all right. And something came over me. I love you. How can you really mean it? If you mean it, you mean it with one person. You don't mean it with three at the same time. Let me get this straight. You told your boss, a cop, and a manic depressant chick That's that you love all three of them recently? That's the trifecta of asshole. In the last week, yes. <laughs> I am well aware what an ass I am this, okay? So it comes down to this. I'm in love with three amazing women, and I know I gotta choose one.